Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, money team. This is my money shot, sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys what's probably the most explosive play in college football 25 out of my Alabama offensive ebook, and this formation is the Gun Bunch TE. Now, the Gun Bunch TE can only be found in Alabama. If you've heard of this formation before, you're probably a Madden player because it's been one of the meta formations in Madden for probably like the last five years. And the play I'm going to show you guys is called the PA Verticals. Now, if you play Madden, it's also called the PA Boot Over, although obviously it's a very very different play so in this video sometimes i try to cover madden and college in the same video but in this video i'm only going to cover this play but if you guys want to see more plays like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section if you need more help or more money plays this particular offense is found in my alabama offensive ebook and if you guys want more help and more money plays you can download that or any of my ebooks instantly simply clicking links in the description or the top hand comment now, this particular play, there's not a lot to it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to pick it. I'm going to show you guys formation to formation, starting off with cover two. Now, against cover two, there's really no setup required. Uh, but the, the one thing that I will say is probably important to do just about every single time is to block the running back because this play action animation, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys what it looks like. It really pulls you out of the pocket. I don't know if you're meant to throw on the run here, but do, throwing on the run like this can really make the, uh, the, the accuracy not too great. That's not necessarily the read right there either, but you can see it still gets open. But like I said, if you block the running back, it'll be a lot easier to step into this throw. You won't have that animation messing you up. And you can see on the first play, the X receiver is a wide open, won't play touchdown to the left. But you can also hit the Y receiver over the middle Although this one's going to be a little bit harder. As you can see, the mid-read does make that throw a lot tighter. So on this particular play against cover two, you can see how cover two really doesn't cover anything because this B receiver was open on the first play too, although obviously that's not always the case. But you can see how pretty much all three of the receivers are going to get open at just about any time. Next up, we got cover three. Cover three and cover three match ought to work about the same way, but I'm going to show it to you against both, starting off with cover three sky. Against cover three, this might be the one time where you want to keep the play action because it can help you to roll out. But I will block the uh the running back and i'll just roll out on my own as you can see right here i can wait for that defensive end to get picked up before i roll out and then shorten that throw as you can see we have another natural one play touchdown against cover three against cover three match you might have to change the setup a little bit typically it'll work out pretty well but if i put the b receiver on a streak and the y receiver on a post and then put the a tight end on a slant and then also custom stem that post up a little bit i want that a little bit higher you'll notice how this play will work much better against cover three match as the y receiver here will cross easier based on the fact that the, uh, the the safety has to respect that streak coming into his area. Now there is an alternate setup when it comes to beating cover three where all you have to do is put the Y receiver on a streak and these two receivers will pull the uh, the cornerback and the safety apart to the point where this uh, this streaking receiver here can usually get open between them. As you can see there, it's a little bit of a tighter throw, but you don't have to wait for him to cross the field, which is something that's definitely a positive. Next up, we're gonna choose another matching covers, only this time we're gonna switch over to cover four quarters or cover four palms, it really doesn't matter. Now you don't wanna always cancel the play action because the play action can be very important against defenses like cover four when the safeties drop down to play the run like they do. So on this play, we're gonna keep that play action. We're gonna put the wide receiver on a streak and watch how Caleb down one of the best safeties in the entire game is going to take a false step on the play action letting this guy get open right over the top the second that i throw that ball like i said the only real issue there is going to be um getting your feet set before you throw the ball but you can see how important the play action is. I don't want to demonize that play action because you'll see on this play how Caleb Downs, it, that, that play action is going to be the MVP. There's no receivers on the other side, but you see how safeties take a step down. That's what they do. That's what this defense is, is based off doing. Now, if your opponent guesses pass,
pass, it's going to be a different story. They're going to drop back into the pass lanes. But if they don't get pass, it's naturally designed to the point where these safeties are going to step down. So make sure you're aware of that. This play also has success against cover four. So let's go ahead and let's pick cover four drop. Against cover four, we still want to put that safety in conflict. So we're going to put X on a streak, but we also want to make sure that the right side of the field uh, basically plays down. So we're going to put him on a slant to create that effect. And now you'll see how this, this wide receiver here is just going to be wide open once he crosses a, away from the safety because the safety has to respect that streak in his area. Now, against cover six and cover nine matching coverages, uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of a different setup uh, than the rest of the defenses. So we're going to go ahead and pick cover six first. But the setup's going to be the same. Is all I'm going to do is put the X receiver on a 10-yard out route to hold that cornerback slash safety. Then put the A receiver on a post or the A tight end on a post. And he's going to be the guy. So cancel that play action after the play starts once again so we can have the positive effect. And you can see how this A receiver here is just wide open as nobody covers him once he leaves the, uh, the center of the field. And here we have another huge busted coverage as this super slow tight end is only like a 70-something speed has nobody covering him. Absolutely no Nobody in his area as he crosses the field for another easy one play touchdown. And that result's going to be the exact same when it comes to cover nine because it's basically cover six flipped. And we're going to do the exact same setup. So once again, cover, uh, put the X receiver on a 10 yard out route, put the A tight end on a post. The only difference is going to be the receiver that gets open as this time it's going to be the Y receiver who's wide open going the other way across the center of the field. This play here is going to be the exact same setup, only this time a different receiver is going to get open as number 14 here just crosses the field and has nothing but space as the safety is nowhere in position to make a play. So that's it for zones. Let's go ahead and let's do some man coverages, starting off with cover zero, man zero blitz. Now, when it comes to cover zero, that play action is important again. So we're going to let that play out. And you'll notice how there's a couple different options here. Number one, the X receiver is going to get open as long as you bullet and pass lead inside. And this is just basically a formational thing here because this receiver is so close to the, uh, the line of scrimmage based on the fact that when he runs out, he's going to bump into this cornerback. And that bump is going to basically give him excel an acceleration boost, but slow down the cornerbacks. You can see it's very slight, but when he runs into him, the DB loses acceleration. And now I have the inside track. What makes this guy get open is bullet and pass leading inside away from that cornerback. As you can see, we get a little bit of a separation there and we get a very easy one play touchdown. And this is very consistent as I'll go ahead and I'll uh, block the running back. As you can see, we get that bump again and I get the bullet and pass lead inside again for another very easy one play touchdown. Now against cover zero, you can also put the tight end on a drag for a good check down and then block the running back. And you'll notice that this will help to get the B receiver open as he crosses the field here. Not putting uh, this guy or not putting the tight end on a route a lot of times will force his defender to be in that area. So if I go ahead, I'll show you one time. If I don't have him on a route, you'll see how his defender drops off and double teams that route making it much harder to get open so just be aware of that uh, that against some coverages like cover zero it's actually better to put the tight end on a route against man cover one though you don't have to worry about that so let's go and let's pick cover one hole on this play here i'll put the running back on a texas route or something just give myself another option but you'll see how the same two plays work once the b receiver crosses he has the ability to be a very easy one play touchdown but you can also throw to the x receiver the same way so we'll go ahead and we'll do that one time. I'm just going to get this, um, you know, even though the cornerback doesn't necessarily have that same position, you can see how you can bomb that up the same way as long as you bullet and pass lead inside. And then last but not least, we have cover two, man. So let's go and let's pick that. And this is going to be the same way. I'll go and I'll cancel that play action. And you'll see how this X receiver here, because the cornerback starts to play so close, he's just going to get right past them because they go for the pressing animation even, they don't, even though they don't actually get it. So let's go ahead and let's watch that one more time. You can see how this cornerback here tries to press or at least comes down like he's going to press. And that's why he loses this battle because he's just going to run right past him because he's too close as we get another very easy one play touchdown over the top. But the Y receiver can score as well. As you'll see, it's the same thing. He doesn't get pressed even though the cornerback's down in his face and we just split the middle very easily, giving you two routes to score against just about every single defense in the game. So I'm going to get him to end the video there. If you guys want to see more from this offense, I have some gameplay uh, showing some plays. We'll have that pop up on screen right now. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.